Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I tend to send fragile objects like ceramic and electrical goods by post. Here in this small item I have a um, A4 page a paper um, laminating machine. So I've just wrapped it up in a bubble wrap, nicely wrapped up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm using, you will use one of these eBay boxes, toughener box to send that off. Um, and, and what I do, I use, you know, your, this is, this is a must, must tool for all of the eBay sellers. It's one of these um, packaging sellotape reel. He works the wonder, you know, that's, you know, you can get hold of them from office supplies or you can buy them from eBay itself or Amazon. I'll put a link down the bottom and then I'll have a really sharp scissors to cut the um, fr fragile tape, obviously use um, a scale to measure your weight make sure it doesn't go beyond your postal uh, um, postal cost or you'll be uh, surprised with the the bill you know you don't want to end up paying too much for it and what I tend to do is after putting it in a box I will wrap this up with cleaning films yeah I tend to do is wrap the parcel up again with cleaning films so that's a that's a really good thing it makes you feel it makes the feel the customer the seller has taken his time or her time to send although we are selling second hand but you gotta make sure it looks good to the customer's eyes yeah and here uh, I've just sold a set of six um, ceramic um, it's called those um, soup bowl like a like a cup big soup soup cups with ingredients on them written on them so you go onion um, onion scotch and things like you know I'm sure if you can see them all the soup ingredients on them so what I've did what I've done first of all is I've wrapped them up in a kind of a foam plasticine foam there and then what I'll do again wrap them up another time using bubble wrap so chances of them getting uh, smashed uh, you will reduce it by such a high star <laughs> possibly you reduce it so much and once the customers get it they will be happy with it and I also using one of these boxes I found I just managed to get hold of one of these boxes that was thrown away somewhere so I'm making use of this and I will cover it with the cleaning film so it becomes professional and I will show you the final work so make sure when you are sending ceramic items you know you don't want anything goes wrong with it or you don't want to get um, customer complaining oh it came smashed up and they asked for a refund so it's best to take your time and get this sorted good a good do a good job don't think just because you're selling second-hand stuff goods you can just send them winning no don't don't get the impression make sure you be professional you know do the stuff professionally and then you, you'll get your you see the results on your feedback and that way you'll get more more customers coming into you So now I have um, 
cover them up in um, bubble wrap and now I've just noticed this uh, the the front side of the box is slightly thinner and and this the oh, this side of the uh, box is strong enough and the back side is also strong but the front opening is a bit and well thin so chances of somebody knocking and smashing it is greater so what I'm going to do I'm, I'm I'm just going to put some more stuff in there like the paper and the box is sort of um, when I open the uh, close the lid there's a slight um, gap between the, the top of the uh, the the cups against the wall of the, the box so in case somebody drops it or throws throws the parcel I'm going to put some um, paper or uh, this kind of wrapping paper parcel paper in there just to um, make it tighter so it don't break I know you're thinking oh this is going to be extreme but if the customer is happy and then that's what I want and the, the happy customer happy seller happy customer both win-win situation though they come back uh, come back and buy from you now that's the job done here now you be thinking oh you you be thinking as oh you just add added a few more hundred of kilogram weight to your parcel weight um, the, and the truth of the matter is even if I had add a couple of hundred more grams of weight extra weight onto the box this parcel already weighed more than two and a half kilo before I even put all the uh, the papers and the wrapping so it makes no difference because I have to send it to I cannot send a small parcel it's going to be medium parcel so between two and five kilos is medium parcel so I it doesn't really matter now so but if you're uh, weight conscious then obviously you have to use lighter box lighter materials to send your stuff but end of the day it pays off you know in long term it pays off in customer feedback it pays off other ways so mm, this is a small thing in selling online and um, this is what the box looks like now and I'm going to cover it up in black cleaning film which is the parceling black uh, parceling cleaning film oh. now if you look at this box now um, it looks like it's coming from a professional um, seller like if, if this was posted by one of the leading brand big big company yes. so whenever you do something make sure you always try to be professional now look at this box it just looks like it's if it's been sent by Amazon or something so really really big big player nobody would say oh it's been sent from a eBay a eBay seller and all I'm going to do is put a label on. Thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button. And I hope this uh, video has given you, has given you a bit of uh, advice and thought and tips. Once again, thank you so much.